All right, good morning. Welcome back to Flannel Hill Farm. Um, today, we have to go in the town to deal with some stuff for the water company. And the beans are looking awesome. Look at this. Look at these beans. I think I may have messed up. I honestly didn't think anything was gonna come of it, so I think I over pot I over planted the pots. But we'll see. I think depending on which vehicle we take, I might be getting some oh sorry, sun. Might be getting some decorative stones. So I don't, I haven't really shown you guys enough in depth about everything. So I will do that quick here in a second. That sun is really bad. Okay, so in here, or just in general, we have a hill. I mean, Flannel Hill Farm is a name for a reason. So, <clears throat> we have, everything is kind of on a slope. I guess hill is a bad name. It's more of a slope, but hill works better. So, and it's kind of all the same. Um, so, you can see the drop here in the shed height. So these are blocks. Now, I think the blocks are something that are getting hard to find around here right now. I don't know if that's just a seasonal block thing or what, but I think it would be better for us to take these blocks from the stairs and put them under the red shed to support them, to support the red shed better so that we can fill the can rotator. We have some more over here for this shed, like this, because you can see that the shed is higher off the ground, so we have some blocks here. Um, and then you can, dogs. Hi guys! How are you? So you can see how this shed, so you saw that shed was a foot off the ground. Well now look. It's up to like my elbow down here. So more blocks. Um, yeah, so you can see down there how it goes from very little to a lot. So we're gonna have to try to put more supports under here. Which is fine. Probably. Be. We need to use our stair blocks under there and get new decorative blocks. So you can see this here. The camper. This is the stair for the camper and then it drops significantly and then under this rug we have more blocks. So, just gonna have to look at getting decorative ones for stairs so we can use those cinder blocks. Um, I don't know if you can, I don't know how this comes across. 
until I rewatch the video, but I am up here and it's a drop down. I mean, you look at the road. So, I think decorative blocks is our way to go to create stairs. So we can free up those cinder blocks. So plan today, run back into town, which sucks, but it is what it is. Um, deal with the water. That'll give this time to dry out because it was raining. So all of my tall grass that I need to use my string mower, trimmer, I don't know. It's a DR brand, whatever. That needs to dry out. So we're gonna have to wait a little while anyways. So I guess we might as well deal with the water company and give it time to dry out. Then I think Big K is going to mow what he can with the regular lawn mower, tractor, ride on lawn mower. Um, and then, I don't know, I think that it might be time to till. But I don't know if that'll happen until this weekend. And even then, I think rain is going to kick us again. I don't know, I've been watching the weather. Southwest Missouri appears to be getting like a week of rain in the next week, so. I think it's supposed to be, Big K was just telling me last night, he goes, oh, of course, it's gonna be nice while we're driving for my doctor's appointment and then it's gonna rain. So I think we're just gonna have to deal with the weather. Hi, what are you doing? What are you doing? You spaz. KK. KK, Lonnie, can you look here? Hi, where's your brother? Uh, spaz. So, that's the plan. Hopefully, oh, I forgot to tell you. So my mom got me I forgot because she got it for me before I moved because I thought I was going to be planting a lot quicker than I was and then hemlock. Um, but my mom got me, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get at it. She got me an Earthway Cedar, which is this thing that you put, you put seeds in and then you can walk behind it and it plants um, whatever seeds you put in it, but it has spacers so that you plant the right spacing for the seed. So this thing, just loud noises happening all over the place. Um, so this thing's super cool if I can get at it. <sighs> moving, I'm not even moving anymore. These sheds have just kicked my butt. Okay. We're getting closer. Sorry, you can have to be holding for a minute. Okay. So down here, I don't know if you can see it, but down here, there's a white box. It's an earthway cedar. And it is super cool once I get it out and am able to actually start using it. We will do more with it, but until then, Earthway Cedar. You can look it up if you need something that's a little easier to plant as opposed to being on your hands and knees. Um, Lonnie, you were supposed to watch him. 
You wanted a puppy. Where is he? Where's your brother? Hi. Oh, there he is. Way out there looking for birds. Goofball. All right, well, I will update you as I get updated. Um, so, I guess I'll see you later. Okay, mowing is done. Well, not really. My part, I think I have to be done because I'm dealing with that string trimmer and the ditches. And I just don't think my back can handle it anymore. So I think I'm done. I got a lot done though. We'll go look at that. Um, and then I gotta come back. I think I'll probably drive the trailer down there, but we're gonna have to take the blocks out and the gas and diesel that we got. I gotta fill up dog water. But we got the awning up, which means the RV should be a little cooler. So over here, so we only have a little bit of yard on this side of the driveway. Um, but I got, we got that ditch cleared out. And then, oh, bless me, sorry. Um, we got, I did all down there. So we can walk down there, but, um, while I was doing that, Big K has been doing the mowing on the lawn tractor. Maybe we should just call it by what it is. So the lawn tractor is a cub cadet and the tractor tractor is a deer. So we can maybe do that, I don't know. But I got all of this done. I got most of the one side of this ditch, so that's good. That's a lot. Um, the problem is, is I'm pushing down the ditch, and then I gotta pull it back up. It's wrecking me. So, um, mowing, whipping. Whatever you call that. I think tilling will be a thing coming up. Tomorrow we have to go up to Kansas City for Big K's doctor's appointment. And then we'll have the weekend. But I still think it's supposed to rain. So, I don't know. Can you see him out there? Mowing. He looks so funny on that little thing compared to the tractor. So, that's what I know. Um, I got some more seeds in the mail because I am really going to try and do this second season thing. So I got some of that. I got some sweet potatoes. I'm really gonna go for this second one here. But we'll see. Um, what else do I have to do tonight? Oh, I'm gonna eat more of what I made yesterday. I made some fried cabbage and bacon with some I did crock pot potatoes. That was delicious. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm exhausted. I don't know how farmers do this. I really don't. More power to you. I am exhausted. And it could just be that this is new to me, but oh my God, I am beat. And then Big K goes, if we were farmers, we'd have like four more hours. So, that's all I know. I bet he just so, as I'm mowing, or doing my thing, he's mowing. He broke down once because he hit something and the belt came off of the deck. And then... He, then I stopped and he hit barbed wire. So we untangled the barbed wire. He got back up and going and now he's stalling out again. So it might be more barbed wire. So I'll have to go probably help with that. We'll see. I think he's going to come around. Maybe we can look at it. Yep. There's something up in there again. All right. Well, that's probably the day. I'm exhausted. Probably fix this dog water. Empty the trailer. I think I can handle that. It is only 2.40. Thank the farmers that actually do this day in and day out. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe see you tomorrow. I don't know if I'm just going to be in the car all day to Kansas City and back. That's no fun for you guys. So we'll have to see if we get back in time or do something before we leave. I will let you know when I know. Have a good night. Thank you for watching. On your way back down the hill, do the stuff. Like, share, subscribe, do the, the bell thing. That'll notify you of our next, my next upload. Which, if you like them, you want to be notified. So, do all the things. Alright, I'll see you either tomorrow or Saturday. Have a good day, weekend, if I see you Friday or not. Alright, later.